Hello and welcome. I am Suit and Tie Dippin' Shoe Guy, and this is an entry onto the Alternatives playlist. We will be taking a look at Ironside Dip, Apple Danish. I got a couple of these in after people were asking about them. I have this, obviously, and one more. It is the Wild Winterberry, I believe they call it, um, which will be coming shortly. This, though, I am interested in from a flavor aspect. So this we will be doing first. So Ironside Dip has come out recently. This is, and listen very carefully, YouTube, tobacco-free and nicotine-free. It does have a warning label. It is a warning that it contains caffeine. Yes, friends, that is where we are at at this point in America. We're putting warning labels on things because they contain caffeine. Anyway, it is a ridiculously looking, good looking can. Um, so it's got a thin raised rim, sort of in the American Stuff Company fashion. And the... Viking there is also raised. Ironside, though, the word there is actually inset. So there's a base level, an inset level, and a raised level. It just really looks good. The whole thing, presentation-wise, looks excellent. Going around to the side, you have, excuse me, branding. And the fact this is wide cut, and again, there it says it, tobacco free and nicotine free. Moving around, you have a small emblem, and then basically the same thing. Again, it has the flavor up top, iron side, and the fact that it's wide cut, and tobacco and nicotine free. Then you got a barcode. Although, honestly, I don't know why these things have barcodes. I, I, I doubt this will ever make stores, like actual stores. But the Outlaw products have it too. And that is not a coincidence. And then you have the manufacturer information. So it is a standard size dip can at 1.2 net weight ounces. All right. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to read it. But it is made by Ironside Incorporated, 820 Grand Boulevard, Deer Park, New York. That is of interest. Now, somebody did mention this in the comments section of a video in the last couple days. I already knew it. I was going to reveal it in this video, and I still am. But they were right, although I'm not quite sure if they were looking at it at the right angle. So basically, that address that I just read off to you is the exact same address of Ace Moist Snuff Incorporated, which is the company that makes Outlaws products. Okay, so they are the same company. Now, the person in the comments section sort of went, you know, Outlaw owns this as well. And there is a good chance of that. I mean, that that is a possibility. But it is more likely in my mind that Ace Moist Snuff owns this just as they own Outlaws. And they are the driving force behind both product lines. All right. Why do I say that? Well, it just makes more sense to me, one. But two, recently there's rumors going around. I, I don't know if they're rumors or if it's fact at this point that some of Outlaws products have been discontinued to make room for new products okay i've heard the two may be discontinued already but he's only come out with one new product but then this shows up so it would appear to me that maybe some of his products are being dis discontinued i'm sure it'll be more likely a put on hold to open up 
a number of new things, and I think it's, I personally think it's Ironside. All right. So, no nicotine. It does have a caffeine count. Now, I was not able to find definitive information on caffeine absorption in the mouth. I, I suppose it could happen. They put it forth as 800 milligrams. That's for the entirety of the can. Okay. So, on the back, it's basically just like Outlaws. They are generic Pinkerton-esque looking cans. The can was, just like Outlaws, $5.99. And two of them cost $4 to ship to me. Okay. So, all the same there. It's being shipped from the same place, etc. and so forth. The website is Ironside Dip, all one word, dot com. It's a pretty nice website. I mean, it's a it's a pretty darn. And this is another thing. It aesthetics wise, it's nicer than Outlaws, which would make me think that Outlaw doesn't have much say in it. Because why would he have a website not under his own name look better than his own? That's under his own name. If you get what I'm saying. So anyway, it's blocking around there. Wide cut. It's going to be the same stuff, I'm sure, as Outlaws. Now they got they've gone back to the somewhat rubbery band. Um it's gonna be the tough guy cut. Ace Moist Snuff used to make tough guy and outlaws tobacco products. So let's get this open. And it is exactly, this is a non-nicotine outlaw with a interesting flavor that I'm not really smelling anything off of. Whoa. Wow. And this is why I wanted to open this up first. Um, it smells like a chopped up non-tobacco version of Stoker's apple, loose leaf. It's a little bit more poignant with the apple. There's a little bit more of a edge to it. So that's what you're looking at. And that's dead on. Okay, moisture level is good. It's nothing crazy. The cut is wide or fat or whatever they're calling it this month. I think it's wide on this can, wide cut. Uh, and it that is actually, that is sort of what it is. Um, wow, it smells really good. So I'm going to get some of this out here. Uh, it's pinching like outlaw stuff. You know, it, it's not going to be to most people's liking, pinching wise. It's exactly, they got it dead on though to what Outlaw's Tobacco and Tough Guy was. So, I mean, if, you, if you're using them as the, like, the control, then th they've got that. I'm going to have to hit the pause button. Right. Back in a moment. And I am back. This is ridiculously tasty. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, it's not quite as warm and fuzzy feeling as Stoker's Apple Loose Leaf Chill. But it's pretty darn close. It's pretty darn close. Uh, about as close... I, this is not like a timber wolf or a skull apple this is an apple bakery product okay so the apple danish is that that's a good name for this but it's not quite as apple danish or apple pie as the stokers but we're talking about two completely different things here it is it, it it's good it's really really good um It's spitting all right. A, a lot of these things, you know, a lot of the products from Ace Moist Snuff, they do actually sort of spit dark, like 
but it's sort of like a translucent dark, translucent black almost. It's not quite right. The only ones that were really good and really out of everything, everything alternative wise was Outlaw's Wintergreen and to a slightly lesser extent, his Mint. The, the, the fairly new ones. Um, this see that it, it, it's sort of like a translucent it, it's got color but it's sort of like washed out when you spend I don't usually you know spend a lot of time on actually spinning but especially when it comes to these alternatives it, it's interesting to see how close they can get um but you know what? With me, there's some actual tobacco products that will basically spit clear. Um, Skull Peach is one of them. Until I've had it in for quite a while, it, it's basically... So there's not a lot of mouthfeel, partly because of the flavor profile and partly because there's no nicotine absorption, because there's no nicotine. Um... That said, the flavor is of the type that it sort of makes your mouth water. So it still gets the job done juicing up and whatnot. Now, I have quite a lot in. I During the break, I actually put more in. Um, it's good. It, it's, it, it, uh, I'm telling you, it's, it's not quite there. Because nothing really is, but it's surprisingly close to Stoker's Apple Loose Leaf. Surprisingly. It's got a little bit more of an edge on it. A little bit more of an apple edge. But we are not definitely not talking about a Timberwolf or Skull Apple. And this is not a Granny Smith sour-esque-ish apple flavor profile. It tastes like an apple bakery product. Like, you know, whether it be, uh, you know, a tasty cake. Well, that's actually, I see, I'm from a, where tasty cake comes from. So I think like tasty cake's a worldwide thing. And I, I know it's not, uh, but I have to remind myself that. Uh, but it, it tastes like an apple pie, apple Danish, like croissant type deal. So they got it dead on. Um, now the caffeine I'm not one to ask about caffeine because my caffeine intake in a day is so ridiculously over the top. If I told you the exact milligram count, you probably wouldn't believe me. So I doubt, I doubted before I even started recording that I would, I, I would see anything. That said, There might be something going on. There might, I mean, I don't feel jittery or anything like that. Tell you what, I'm not swallowing any of it for that reason alone. Um, all in all, I, th I mean, it, I think some of the outlaw products I've done recently, um, the winter green, I, the mint was fine, but the winter green was standout. And I'm not even a winter green guy. Um, his peach. Uh, the vanilla. I mean, all his stuff. I, I, if I'm going to be completely honest, all his stuff has been pretty good with the exception of that first one I did over a year ago now, most likely, when he first released his non-tobacco products, which I have a feeling... He was having problems with them from the videos I was told about. So that that might need to be written off as, okay, well, that was that point in time. And that's why that didn't work out, that first review of the Lucky Lipper. Everything since then actually has been good. I mean, I don't like the guy's style and whatnot, but the products he's putting his name to are, are sound. Uh, especially as alternatives. I mean, that they're compared to the rest of the alternative market, things that are trying to mimic dip, like literally mimic the 
Yeah, they're they're above and beyond everything else. And then there's this though. Okay, so this is up there with them. The the downside for most people in this is there is no nicotine with this. So, all right. Um, flavors holding. It's good. You can get more out of it if you squeeze it. It's got the cut, which spreads out along my gum line for me. And this is with Outlaw stuff. This is with, you know, this was with his tobacco products from before, with the Tough Guy products that were before there. I mean, this has been a running thing of the fat slash wide slash whatever they're calling it. Um, it spreads out, which that's not so bad. But with me, and this could be just, you know, something with me. It goes over my molars. It starts migrating over the molars, and that is a little bit irritating. It's got a good flavor, though. Tell you what. So, Ironside Dip gets a uh, get gets a thumbs up from me. It, it, it you know as far as something that doesn't have nic tobacco or nicotine. This is this is a pretty darn good show. In fact, it's such a good showing, flavor wise and presentation. I know this sounds weird, but I almost wish it was tobacco. You know, they they got the Viking with the the, the double edged axe and whatnot. It's a little bit, you know, stuff like that. I just sort of find like a little bit, uh, hokey. I guess would be the word. Like, you could have put, like, Ironside with, like, a, like, Civil War River Monitor or something above it. You know what I mean? Like, but, no, we went with Long Island's version of Thor right there. But it is a good-looking package. I mean, it, it, it really is a good-looking package. So... This is a positive review from me. Again, their website is Ironside Dip, all one word, dot com. Okay. From the makers of Outlaws products. These are like Outlaws, non tobacco, but they're no nicotine. Okay. Instead, they do have caffeine. Okay. 800 milligrams, that's a lot of caffeine. That's the whole can. You're not going to be taking 800 milligrams of caffeine in a shot there. All right. So this has been my review of Ironside Wide Cut Dip Apple Danish. All right. This is a good show. It's a good show and it's a good flavor and it, it, it's a good presentation. I am the Suntai Dip and Chew Guy. I do hope you all are well. You take care of yourselves and as always, God bless.